the way the company can create a healthy and more balanced work environment. A healthy workplace is one where workers and managers collaborate to continually improve health, safety, and well-being of all workers. By doing this, sustain the productivity of business. Given we spend one third of our life at work, the working environment can have a significant impact on our health and well-being. A healthy working environment is one in which there is or um, not only an absence of harmful conditions that can cause injury and illness, but an abundance of health-promoting ones. A healthy and balanced workplace should be includes healthy people, healthy places, and healthy reasons. Healthy people is the individual factor, which is focused on individual needs, such as improving access to health service and information, as well as building a knowledge and skill of workers to adopt healthy lifestyle. For about healthy places is environmental factor. It provides a physical work environment that supports healthy choice and offers resources to actively encourage healthy behavior. And the last one that um, healthy reason, which is the active commitment of management and business practice, policy support and encourage um, healthy behavior. For example, um, like they have flexible work and smoke-free policy. Yeah. There are so many factors that contribute to productivity in workplace and a healthy work environment is one of them. In this video, I also have done a research about the ways to create a healthy and more balanced work environment. There are also many ways to create a comfort and balanced workplace that a company can practice based on their type or situation of their office. The first way is to create an uncomfortable space and create an environment of psychological safety and trust. To create such a space, ensure that everyone has their own individual space where they can have the tools they use within um, reach while still being able to look to either side and work with um, other team members. An environment of psychological um, safety is one where employees are comfortable being themselves. The second is to recognize and reward employees and show appreciation. One way to keep spirit high is to recognize your team and offer rewards for project on milestone. Any project is exciting at first, but over time it can become more and more difficult and tedious. The next way is to keep your team connected. It is important that your team be connected even if you have remote workers. In order to be able to establish a truly productive working relationship, employees have to get to know one another. And another way is to encourage conflict among employees. This might be sound counterproductive, but it is actually good to have some healthy, respectful conflict in the workplace. It shows how um, ideas are born. Encourage employees to offer up outside the box idea and see where the discussion go from there. You also have to give employee a real voice. Feedback is one of the most valuable gifts you can get from employees. Providing opportunity for employees to express their feelings let you identify where you can help them excel. And the next point that you can do is to turn value into more than just work. Because now employees want to work at an organization that lacks compelling value or one that doesn't practice what it pitch. Developing and living by meaningful cause value, try to create organizational culture and eventually profits. The seven ways that you also can do is to prioritize cultural alignment when hiring. Organizational culture is shared experience, flows throughout the company and develop over time, as you might imagine. The people you're in your organization hire play a huge important role in sustaining its culture. The last way that you can also do is to empower your team with what they need to succeed. No matter how comfortable your workforce is, they need support to do their best self at work. Empowering employees can make many forms, from external learning and development to greater flexibility at in working hours um, to autonomy over new projects.
After you have known about many kind of way that according to my research, I can sum up that a healthy work environment is one where employees feel hard. They acknowledge for their contribution and they understand how their work is part of something bigger. The healthy workplace environment is really significant for a company development since majority of people spend a significant part of their life at work. Therefore, it naturally be told they work in a good healthy environment. The effects of this is on every aspect of an individual health is far reaching than most of people realize. This is the end of my presentation that was talking about the ways that a company can create a healthy and more balanced work environment. And if you want to know more detail about this topic, I recommend you to do the research in many work websites. And you also can find many effective ways that relate to your workplace and you will get interested. Lastly, I'm really grateful and appreciate my lecturer and whoever was paying attention in watching my video. So goodbye and good luck.